It's Sunday, December 20th, 2020. That's a lot of 20s. My name is Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the Bear Podcast with the Terminal Length, episode number uh, uh, 582. And, uh... Take a guess at what we're 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 talking about today. I I, mm. I dare you to guess. It might have something about these two things. Maybe Gary, what were we talking about today? Uh, the downfall of freedom and the world. Mm. Maybe. Wait, that was backwards. There we go. <laughs> yeah, but kind of when you do that, you go away. <laughs> it's kind of like a magic act. Like you kind of disappear against the background. But anyways. There it is. I mean, you're what? not lying, though. It's a, it's a, it's a that, I mean, this is kind of... I mean, when you think back to it, we've had similar discussions to this. Right? Yeah. Uh, we have so uh, obviously if you watch the if you saw the title of the show that you probably know what we're talking about um, <clears throat> but yes in the past we have had similar discussions and I listed them um, as reference for anybody who was interested uh, in episode oh they're out of order oh they go backwards through time okay <laughs> so the most recent time that we discussed something similar was episode 542 um, rest in peace growler question mark um, mm -hmm. Because Growler had made a decision in their terms of service that they could market you via text message, I think is what it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think that's where that was, and people were bent out of shape. In f episode 502, um, we, did, we talked about the Growler acquisition that uh, it had been sold. Yeah. Um, and what the potential future of that was. And in episode 490, almost 100 episodes ago, uh, we discussed it was called RIP Tumblr Porn. Mm -hmm. Because Tumblr had made decisions on how it was going to handle adult material, and it was not uh, an enjoyable experience. And there was uh, quite a mass exodus, and most individuals, it appears, went over to Twitter, or eventually came to Twitter. Yeah. Which also yes. means that we converted one of our monthly segments to Twitter posts instead of Tumblr posts. They both sure. start with T. Agree. They're not too far removed. So now, <clears throat> here we are at the end of 2020, and um, drama! A lot of the gays are unhappy. <laughs> about what has taken place um, between these two websites, XTube yeah. and Pornhub. And it's, it's actually others, just kind of to make people more aware. It, it is other websites. I believe XTube and Pornhub are one or the two are under a bigger umbrella um, uh, that has... Pornhub is the primary. I'm trying to... See yes, things I are, believe cause... so. It's, it's been a while. But um, the, the idea being that there are several... Um, what's let's how do you want to call them? Video porn on demand or um, you know X-rated um, video sites on the internet that have been hit by this, um, and some of them in particular have are under the uh, umbrella that I think Pornhub and XTube are under, if I remember correctly. But I could be yeah. wrong. It's been a while. Yeah, well, and so this was not uh, necessarily the planned topic, but uh, I was like, ooh, hot freaking news. Yes. Um, and how <laughs> our very own entourage had opinions and mm -hmm. dismay and, like, you know, mm -hmm. being directly affected by it. Um, I will preface with this to start off with. I have stopped or greatly diminished mm -hmm. going to Xtube 
and not very often had been going to Pornhub just because I was annoyed with the changes over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. Um, So as an example, like I used to go to Pornhub to just like put in a search for a term because it was the thing that I was interested in at the moment. But the amount of professional accounts videos you had to pay to watch like it just became so mm-hmm, encumbered mm-hmm. and annoying and there was also a high amount notably of media that was stolen that was being posted there um mm-hmm. that it that was like it was more kind of like pinterest for lack of a better way to phrase it <laughs> like like people would post their favorite stuff and it's like yeah but yeah, that's not yours mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know yeah and some of it I kind of waffled on, I'll be honest. Like, if it was older content that was questionable on who the original source ownership is, you know, things like that, it wasn't as much a bother to me. But it was like, when I when I flat out look at something and I was like, okay, hey, that is Bear Films. Their logo's in the corner, you schmuck. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, like, and, 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 and the fact that it's been shared 7,000 times. Like, yeah, girl, and you ain't special. Everybody else has been spanking to it and already posted it. Why are you, why are you resharing it? Anyways. Yeah. It's very funny um, that you mentioned that because that's one of the things that I wasn't, um, that I've, I've seen has happened is, you know, sites like Bear Films and what have you, who have verified accounts, mm-hmm. um, still have content. They're some of the few um, that have their content essentially up now. But I agree with you that one of the problems I remember having with like Pornhub and even XT to an extent was that a lot of the content wasn't um, original. I mean, don't get me wrong, there was some original stuff, but there was a lot of like um, like porn of porn, like meaning like someone had taken a video from a porn producer, Bear Films, you know, Monster Cub, what have you, and then put it on their site and, you know, splice it down to like a sort of frame so that you can kind of get it or, um, or are, sometimes it's not. Or, yeah, or not. Yeah, or sometimes it's not. I mean, or it's literally a, just put the whole fucking thing up. Yeah. Right. Well, and it, then, uh, no, keep it going. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then the other, on the flip of that, kind of especially with, um, Xtube, um, the amateur stuff, which mm-hmm. was not like your content, like, you know, people were putting their content up and they were, um, you know, asking people to pay for it. And that's great. That's fine. That's your choice. Um, and it, But it, it took a lot away from when the site kind of was in its, you know, beginnings, you right. know, where just like anyone could just like put their videos up and show off and whatever. Um, and a lot of it became, it became a little bit to, to push everyone towards those amateurs and stuff like that. And again, don't get me wrong, because I'm going to kind of, kind of reiterate this as part of my spiel about this whole thing. You know, sex work is sex work. Um, it's work. And it, you know, an amateur is an amateur and they're, you know, they're putting these up there and they're putting their contact up there. And they're asking people to pay for it. And if I wish to pay for it, I can pay for it. Um, so great. But sometimes you don't, when you're in that moment, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you, you're just looking to, to find something to get you to the, to the, to the final goal, you know? Right. Right. So mm-hmm. yeah, like, so sometimes you don't really want to necessarily pay for something. And then you have to kind of scroll through like 10, 15, 20, 30, a hundred, you know, people who are asking you to pay money to to get to something and that kind of can be a little annoying a little annoying it's annoying but it, it i get it right no and i and i don't disagree so that particular thing about xtube that had bothered me um i had stopped really kind of going to it other than to look at what was called the news feed and the news feed for each profile was what had been posted by people you follow so it's kind of like YouTube mm-hmm. in that, like, you follow somebody and then you technically get notifications and shit. And I, I didn't really do that, like, because I didn't want to be annoyed with, like, my barded emails, you know. <laughs> um, 
there was nobody I, I and this isn't to be disparaging there was nobody that i was just like oh my god i gotta see their newest stuff i'm like i'll i'll see it whenever i log back in um mm -hmm. but that was like the thing you know that was happening for me with xtube is like i went and looked at xtube maybe once every couple of weeks to once a month and that had not mm -hmm. been the case before like i had been frequently you know um, had viewed it in fact if I was to pull up my account right now, I'm sure they still have the stats on the number of videos and how much content I've watched, like mm -hmm. the number of minutes and seconds. That's nice. Um. <laughs> However, what it wouldn't have um, are any pictures you posted of yourself, more than likely, any video content that you've posted of yourself um, on a site. Um, you probably lost a shit ton of any favorites that you favorited. Um, and... If you had any videos, um, like I had some up there, um, they're all gone. I mean, there there are now two that are still up, but you cannot view them because they're video in con violation of whatever. I think um, violation, or does it say something like uh, the uh, uh, pending verification or something like that? Nope, it says violation. I'm pretty sure. Let me. Let me pop on XTube and find right. out for you. <laughs> so the, the the thing is, is that for me personally, I wasn't as affected. I mean, as a, as a lay user who had not really been a person, a content creator for the sites, um, it was more like this is a repository, like a location where I can find media, um, obviously for, you know, a particular purpose, like I'm going to presume nearly everybody. Um, but... It is really, like, fuck all annoying because mm -hmm. some of the people I followed, especially on Xtube, were content creators that were, mm -hmm. to my knowledge, not in any way violating any potential um, issues that this really is stemming from originally, conceptually, I should say. Yeah. Um, you know, and I like some of the stuff that they made and I found actually mostly over the past couple of years, I was watching couples. Um, mm. who were, like, making content. And I think that was because it was less produced, quote-unquote. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it was kind of produced. Like, there was something actually unrelated just on Twitter today that I saw, and everybody was like, oh, I wish, like, this was my relationship and how hot is this and blah, 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 because the dominant partner comes into the kitchen and, like, starts, you know, um, I think being I've amorous with video. their partner. Right, right. And then, yeah, you know, it turns, on, on, turns into a full fuck session. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to say this because I'm sidetracking for the moment. The moment he puts it in, I was like, what? I was like, oh, someone was ready. <laughs> like, very ready. I was like, uh, the fact that the camera sitting over at a certain spot wasn't already the giveaway that this is a little produced. But come on. Anyways. Yes. Yeah, I my diatribe. So, <laughs> so anyways, but that kind of content was like the stuff, and I think it's because we like when we um, in the past when we've had Hadrian on, you know, that we've had discussions several times, and he's talked about like you know how challenging it is like to find something stimulating that like meets your needs, and at the same time, it's like you know, is it is it enough of a fantasy? Does it take you out of it? Blah blah blah, you know, and like how the industry for adult entertainment has also been you know kind of grappling with. Authenticity versus plot versus interest, blah, yada, 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 and piracy and all that jazz. Oh. So, um, th we have a couple of articles that we're going to make links to. I don't really want to get into them a whole lot. Um, one of them is from Vice. One, another one is from EFF.org, who I've never heard of. Um, but basically, this is my layman's understanding. Um, there are a couple of entities that have been heck bent on reducing the potential for um, sexual exploitation mm -hmm. um, and potentially child pornography. Mm -hmm. That being said, um, mm -hmm. it appears Visa and MasterCard as credit card companies who make transactions possible um, got involved because they basically said we don't want to be connected to any businesses that like are involved in this kind of stuff mm -hmm. and i understand that 
Yeah. Uh, and when you when you think of it in the like that sense, mm -hmm. it makes sense. You know, right? No one wants to have their company or whatever connected to something that is illicit or illegal. Correct. Um, you know, and that's understandable. Um, in that in that concept. However, <laughs> right, right. However, uh, I, Pornhub, the the company that is that has Pornhub and other sites, um, along with XTube and that, they they took some sort of drastic steps in a very short time frame. Um, because I thought, wait, did we miss the ball somewhere? Like, did we not pay attention as users mm -hmm. of the sites with accounts? Because I don't, I I don't remember the myriad of like 1500 email announcements or pop-ups or something telling me over a period of time a notable reasonable period of time hey if you don't authenticate yourself this will be uh -huh. the consequence exactly if you don't verify your who you are or verify your things then yeah, if if and that's kind of I think my biggest like issue overall with this um, is that it was not only so broad sweeping, but it was so sudden. Um, it was over a weekend, if not if I think correctly, it wasn't that that, that long. No, I was gonna um, say I think I think from start to finish it was like four days, maybe. Yeah, something like that, and. Um, it's just very interesting that no one, I, I mean, and if anyone out there knows more about this, please, you know, let us know if you hear this, but, and correct us if we're wrong, but I don't think anyone got any notification, either email or text or logging into the site or anything along those lines of their content was in danger, first right. of all, or your content will be taken down after a certain point if you do not do this. Like, I don't think anyone got any of that kind of notification. It right. was, and you know, again, someone correct me if I'm wrong. It was literally, I, for me anyway, you heard about it, like on Twitter for me, um, maybe even you, uh, Facebook or whatever, that people were losing stuff and then you go and look and all of a sudden, you're like, oh, um, well, there's all my videos are gone, like, or all my pictures are gone, or all my, you know, content is missing, or right, all those favorites I had are no longer there. And I, and I think yeah. that's the beef at the moment that I truly have, which is, mm -hmm. I can understand restricting access. I can understand, mm -hmm. like, suspending an account. I can understand, mm -hmm. like, making changes to to nullify accessibility. Mm -hmm. However, to outright, and I don't know if this is 100% accurate, so I'm going to kind of preface this a little bit, um, to outright remove content so drastically, mm -hmm. I think it is really what the, my big beef is at the moment. Now, yeah. here's the reason why I'm kind of like hedging on this. I doubt very highly that Xtube and uh, Pornhub <laughs> I almost said the one that's in the background of Jeff um, <laughs> I doubt that the that these sites in particular that we're talking about tonight, I doubt that they deleted the content mm -hmm. I think if they were smart about their programming like they would do a master file backup of all the content Mm -hmm. offload it and then like make some you know decisions about the parameters which they obviously did on verified account blah 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 kind of stuff and then like you know took it away so it's not forever gone but we just don't know that that's the thing i think that's bugging the shit out of me right now is the amount of people that are saying i have lost fill in the blank amount of content Mm -hmm. Like hours, videos, whatever, years yeah. of, of posting things. And I feel for these people because while they are not, you know, professional, 
individuals per se in the adult in entertainment industry, if you relied on these sites to be your cloud repository, you know what I mean in a way yeah. for your for your own personal content that you created, you know whether it's with you and your current with X's with you know it was just solo content whatever it was it's gone and mm -hmm. i think that's the the thing that bothers or dismays me the most is is that that's kind of what's happened mm -hmm. and yes technically individuals should have had their own separate backup and not rely yeah. on the site to do that stuff which yeah, yeah. kind of is is true when it comes to it, any cloud storage thing you kind of want to have an on-site backup thing but one thing yeah. that I think probably would have helped this situation, especially if they were doing something like that, uh, would be to uh, force things to be private. So right. that the like, only people that can look at your content are you. Is you. And then that way be like, and, and then maybe have a thing is set private of uh, pending review or something and then yeah. have have either reviewers or maybe if they have some sort of automated process to do it to review it to look for any uh any violations of, of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. stuff if it's just a totally age appropriate person putting their own stuff up for yeah you mm -hmm. know uh, and it's then they would be able to then they'd go okay we can flag this as as cleared and then it can go public and and yeah. even if they want to do it be like okay this is not cleared to go once they clear it the person then has to put it up public just to add in an extra step or something um uh, yeah. to 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 go that although with the millions of videos and, and content that are out there it's going to take a long time but if there was some sort of way to, to right. at least indicate to their users it's like hey we're taking these down for a reason yeah because we are trying to cut down on on things we're going to review it if it's a-ok -okay, we'll flag it to be available yeah but i but think that's this way but that's if that's what they did or maybe they did just just them be like well, not not verified it how delete and then comes the problem right. of yeah becoming a verified account <laughs> yeah essentially it it came down comes down to like for i think for a lot of the people who are probably more upset about it me i don't uh, uh, i I'm, I'm more upset about the people that had like years and years of you know content that they had been putting up there and had you know gained a following and were you know maybe even legitimate and now no longer you know no longer you know it's all gone or most of it's gone or none of you know whatever right um but the the reality is um i you know there's a part of me that feels like this was already done like i know there are two if I remember correctly, at a certain point in time, there was the whole, like, when you uploaded something, one of the things that you, it asked you, like, it always asked you, like, a few questions, like, is this you, you know, is this your, is this only, you know, kind of that kind of thing. Because it was part of the whole, I think, if I remember correctly, um, there were other potential violations of um, the content not being yours, mm -hmm. you know. So you were told to, um, you, you were, you checked the box and essentially that was the verification that it was your content and you had the, you could potentially have the, I forget the, what it was called, but there was like a file or form or whatever that was supposedly available that you could, if necessary, you could pr prove that it was yours. Um, right. And that's, I think, kind of my other issue is that they were doing all these things to make sure that it was your, you or your content. And that kind of all went away in this moment. Because, like, again, like, it, it wasn't, if it had been, like, like Jeff, like you were saying, if, if someone had said something and, like, maybe put them all into private and then 
like you had to go through a verification process to like get them up back up into public view that's one thing but what it looks like is that they literally went and like took the chess pieces and just pushed them all off the board right 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 that's and, what i was saying and, yeah and it doesn't it doesn't mm. sit well um no, it doesn't sit well know. especially considering that beforehand you were going through some of these processes to verify whatever. And now, as I've mentioned in the entourage chat, especially in Pornhub, you can't verify yourself right now, mind you, you literally can't like the only way to verify yourself is to send a picture of yourself holding your, um, a piece of paper with your screen name and Pornhub or X Pornhub. Hamster or whatever, yeah, on on it. Not X Hamster. This is this is. The well, you know, I know. I, I'm just. I'm, I'm looking. I'm literally looking at my computer, <laughs> like, and these are what right. I see. <laughs> just look at Gary and think of yourself. That's fine. <laughs> um, but like, you have to write it on there, and that's the thing. Well, as, as I, if you follow me on press chat, because I put pictures, because it kind of pissed me off. Um, that got declined because I don't have a picture of myself on my account. Well, I had a picture of myself on my account, but it got taken down because of the sweep. So, and I can't upload a picture until I'm verified. You can't upload content until you're verified. Like even pictures, like you can't even put a picture of yourself on your profile until you're verified. So it's kind of like, then, 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 like, then I, you know, I might as well just leave the fucking site because, like, like, I can't, not that I'm putting up things, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to necessarily put anything up anymore. I've went down that road and I don't, I, I'll, if I do anything, it goes on next to, I mean, our Twitter now, but our nowhere. <laughs> right. But, well, and I think that's the key issue, like, why I was like, rest in peace, question mark, like, as the topic, because, you know, there was, there was, you know, the mass exodus a couple of years ago from Tumblr, roughly uh, two years ago, right? Or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, people kind of like were finding new frontiers or whatever to go to. And um, I mean, I, I want to get this one thing out of my brain. These sites dropped the ball years ago. Mm-hmm. And the reason I say that is because other sites have required the visual verification, like on file system mm -hmm. stuff in order to have an account. So that's the part that I guess really irks me a little bit is y'all could have done this a long time ago, like mm -hmm. before we, before such quick steps were taken, you could have like, six months ago, nine, 12, 18, 24, whatever, like years ago, you could uh -huh. have required, if you want to have an account, you have to prove you're a real person. Uh -huh. A, like, so it reduces the amount of like bots and bullshit. Uh -huh. B, uh -huh. then you update it. Like you have an expiration. You say once a year, like you need to re-verify, uh -huh. which is kind of a, hey, like, yeah. You told us once you were real. Are you still real? Are you alive? Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you still want to keep this account? Like, yeah. if you don't do anything within this time, we're just going to remove, like, your account and all yeah. the rest of this stuff. Yeah. All of that content takes up space, space in mm -hmm. cloud server farms and stuff. So, I mean, like, that's the other part where I was just like, like, in the one article they were talking about the numbers of videos and how mm -hmm. drastically it changed. I mean, it dropped, like, in half in, like, one day. Because I think they said it was like 14 plus million down to like seven something million uh, for one moment. And then it kind of like went back up a little bit. And I was mm -hmm. like, well, that's a that's a big drop in your bill mm -hmm. <laughs> like for what you're paying for storage and and stuff. Like if you don't need that content, that much space or whatever. So, yeah. I mean, there's just there's a lot of things about it that, you know, are, are pretty um, unpleasant. Yeah. Um and the it, it, it like I said, it, it's very um interesting because the 
one of the bigger things about it is like like the other article we we posted kind of feels like an opinion article mm -hmm. talking about how Visa and MasterCard are essentially um, putting a chokehold on um, these companies out of you know one reason or another, and they're not the ones that should be doing it. You know, um, right. it's essentially censorship, and the main reason they're you know um, doing it. Are, you know, they can do it is because essentially in order to pay for things, you know, you have to go through these companies in some way or use some kind of cryptocurrency, which. Ooh. Well, and, and this has broader reaching effects that I want to bring into the discussion. So mm -hmm. prior to the pandemic, a handful of events for, I'll say, the bear community or the leather community started finding challenges to being a legal entity, to be say, in nearly all cases a nonprofit, mm -hmm. to have a um, a transactional like marketing processing company, um, to recognize that they are a legit vendor, that they are, mm -hmm. and that these transactions are authentic, despite the content mm -hmm. of of what that of what you know, the, the services are that are provided. And it's been a thing that's been on my mind for many years because repeatedly we've seen some adult sites or sites that are considered adult but not necessarily meant to be that way um, mm -hmm. finding themselves like really challenged because the website hosting company and or the financial transaction like um and i'm totally blanking on what the hell the right word is uh merchant processing um mm. like that these companies are saying oh we have taken a look at what your business is or whatever we, we don't want to be affiliated with that bye like and they just mm -hmm. drop you um and it's kind of happened with a couple of bear runs that you know paypal or other large like transactional companies say we're not so comfortable with what you do, so we're not really going to provide this service or this offering to you anymore. And mm -hmm. then, you know, these companies, like whether they're small companies within our, our community or runs, events, you know, whatever, like um, coordinator groupings are challenged because then they're like, I got to find a new thing. Um, it happened like a year and a half, two years ago. I remember several people who were event coordinators were kind of just having a brief internal discussion amongst each other like hey i found that like this such platform is giving me you know big ones about this and that like what are you using and you know, like how are you having problems in terms of like getting up and running and the cost and the percentage cut and refund policies and you know blah 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 mm. and to me it's all interrelated and what it comes down to is Unless you build it yourself, and and by I mean you individually, or you we as a community create our own in-house like processes and entities, we're always going to be at the um, mercy of whatever they say is acceptable. Mm -hmm and permissible and that's the part i guess that that really bothers me the most about all of this is the the steps that these sites took were because they not only are businesses um but in some cases not these these particular ones uh in focus today but others like and and, and they are beholden to like investment and a return and you know what I mean? And like all of that becomes these factors about why these businesses make these decisions because they're like, oh, well, we don't want to look like we're endorsing this, you know, item that is pretty universally agreed to as like amoral um, and illegal. But because we have a potential like crossover, do you know what I mean? Like it, it I, I just feel like mm -hmm. it's kind of like um, an infectious thing where there's automatically correlation and like a connection therefore like it's i don't know it just kind of creeps in and it really starts to beg to question like all of the different things that are housing us uh our profiles are you know 
whatever the thing may be. And that's the part that really kind of bothers me a little bit more than than anything is like. I thought about this several years ago, probably almost a decade ago. I was like, so do all the gays have to create their own bank? Is that what is that what this is coming to? <laughs> like, because if we have to create our own bank, we probably can. I don't see why not. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, I remember when gay credit cards became a game, became a thing. Like you mm. could get a Visa or a MasterCard or whatever, and it had a rainbow on it. Like, and how big of a fucking deal that was. Um, you know, mm-hmm. you get the rainbow card. If you remember that shit. Um, you know, and, and that became you know kind of the next thing, and it kind of made me wonder. Like, maybe that's what it comes down to. Like, we just kind of have to build our own stuff. Yeah. So our, we can have it protected and not be at the mercy of you know. Others are literally mm-hmm. almost feeling like with a flip of a switch mm-hmm. that things just get stopped or shut down. And that's kind of what this was, I think, in a lot of ways. It felt very sudden and I don't want to say unnecessary. I will not say it's, it was unnecessary. Um, I get it, you know, reading the articles and reading what happened and, and understanding like that part of it. I, I get that. You know, there was potential content on the site that had, um, as you mentioned, like, you know, was sexual abuse or child pornography or what have you. And it was, you know, it it had been uploaded, you know, and it was out there in which, um, and exploited women and all those other things. There was those, there there was content out there that was, you know, negative. Um, But I think, again, my biggest issue was the wide sweep. Mm Mm-hmm. The, the 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 large sweep that had um that had no warning I mean, virtually like i mean it was just, yeah. it was it was unbeknownst to to my knowledge millions of users and it happened mm-hmm. like like we said in just days um mm-hmm. and you know and this is the thing i started thinking about it and i was like the reality is these sites need to operate more like what we expect out of the other social uh, media mm-hmm. type sites like Facebook, like Twitter. Do you know what I mean? Where mm-hmm. perhaps everything needs to be vetted before it's made public. Like you could post stuff, you could upload it, but someone's got to look it over and then kind of scrutinize it and be like, hey, mm-hmm. Damon, that's nice. This video you posted, we don't really see you in it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, do you have written permission that you can document from the models that are like, you know, quote unquote, in this Mm -hmm. material or whatever? That's what's been missing this entire time. And, you know, we've previously discussed about like the whole amateur voyeuristic aspect of things. And I know that I am not a part of the solution. I'm more part of the problem because that content I do find um, (laughs) appealing. Right. (laughs) Um because yeah. I, of my of my uh, past experience, my age, you know, there was a time mm-hmm. where hooking up was very anonymous. And I'm not saying that it doesn't mm-hmm. exist anymore. It's just few and far between that two mm-hmm. individuals meet up and have like zero connection to each other. Um, you know, now most likely, you know, there's an app or something. Um, you know, and and a lot of that has kind of changed the landscape, but that's where you know some of that content is really um mm-hmm. i think also to be grouped in with all of the stuff that you know people found yeah problematic um yeah i w- along yeah, with the i agree pirated stuff yeah i agree it'd be nice to for those kind of things to be out there um because i've i have essentially stopped following pe- certain people on um like twitter and whatever because some of the things are posts I wonder if the other person is aware mm. or the other people are aware that they're being recorded, that this is going out there, you know, um, the voyeuristic side of me aside, um, like I start to wonder about that. Like, does this person know? And do they, do, does that other person or the people involved know the potential repercussions of this content going out you know, onto the web and onto, you know, sites and what have you, because, you know, there's a big difference between it's behind a paywall 
are behind, you know, someone having to get a credit card ver- you know, verified or whatever in order to in order to see it, as opposed to here it is on like a Twitter, a social media platform like Twitter, Tumblr, whatever, for anyone who ha- might happen to be able to see it to see. There's kind of a big difference to me in that. And right. um, on the flip of that, there's a lot of desire. There's a lot of people trying to make content to make money, you know, OnlyFans, just for fans, things like that, where it, it's essentially like it's essentially amateurs doing porn. Like, you know, X T been, you know, kind of is like hyping for, but it is essentially that. But do they really know what they're doing? You probably don't. Like if it's just you fapping to, you know, stuff that you're listening to or um, maybe you and your partner or husband or wife or whatever going at it, then you may not have to worry so much about that. But some of these videos are people like meeting in random places and hooking up with a random person or spying on people in like a bathroom or a gym or, or, or a locker room. Mm-hmm. And that's where it starts getting shady and odd and where that, you know, content and art, is everyone okay with this being out there, gets muddy. Right. And that's, again, where, you know, again, where I can see this, why some of these things are good to have and could be potentially good to have. I agree with you. I think that having some kind of authentication or verification process in place before the content goes live would be highly beneficial. Um, they just have to make it sure that, Yeah, huh? Yeah. I was going to say that there's the hella, the hella expensive cost factor for these companies yeah. to take on all of that stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's what Facebook gets criticized for constantly is like right now, this very second while we're recording, I could go on my Facebook in my feed and see advertising that has VPL in it. It is a visible penis mm-hmm. slide. This company, mm-hmm. I don't know why they are consistently able to get away <laughs> with posting men and i can see their flaccid dongs in like shorts or underwear and yet other people post you know like a pose in like their new bearskin briefs or whatever and that gets flagged yes david that's the company Um, (laughs) (laughs) well because i reached out to chess actually because he's kind of posted recently on facebook his annoyance at like some of the ads and the things that, mm-hmm. you know, appear and how, like, if we've got these measurements of content, the question mm-hmm. really starts to beg, like, oh, but because it's an advertisement and they're paying you to post this, that's okay. Like, and that's a whole other show. Um, I mean, yeah, but, that, that that could be a whole. whole. <laughs> but the reality is, you know, a company like Facebook is, you know, under scrutiny for what they're doing. In fact, now uh, they're being taken to court. Uh, as being a monopoly, which I think is just funny. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, there, there's that. And I get that these content, you know, uh, housers, I don't know what to call them, because they're not creators, uh, the repository, whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, it would be hella expensive to pay people, like kind of what, this is a bad analogy, kind of like what Jeff does for his job, only instead like people have to review the content. You have to pay mm-hmm. people to do that. No, that or... That's that's literally another department of YouTube. Is there is an entire content review department. The only thing is that uh-huh. I think it's okay. So let let me get a word in edgewise. Um, what the I, one of the things that I think is problematic with any of these type of uh, porn websites um, is that they're the way they're trying to run it is very much like YouTube because YouTube basically says hey you can upload whatever you want and the and then they have to go through the process of 
of being like we need to, to set up structures and everything to flag content for being possibly inappropriate and 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 uh doing it because right now uh my personal account that actually in some sense this account that you may be actually watching this uh, uh show on um doesn't really go through a verification process anybody can create create a create a uh, google account uh, and then log into to youtube and post content whatever content they want and then it's youtube's part where they have to uh, uh make sure that they're reaching in and catching from this billions of videos that are being uploaded uh to get the appropriate get find any inappropriate content and make sure those are taken down it's a process it is difficult and you have to have the right thing because you can't do this purely uh manually it's it's a near impossibility that's why you would have to have the appropriate structures in place to be able to have some sort of automated system to look for the flags that that they can and then send it over to a group to manually review it so that the few of them that are just like somebody upload a jack up video of themselves they uploaded it to their own account but it's just a jack off video of somebody who is of age age everything's fine Maybe you don't even see any face. All you see is someone's hand on a cock, cock going up and down. You hear some noises of them going, uh, 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 etc. And then that's not really something that they would really end up flagging or anything. And it's there's no reason that we would have to take it down. It's a porn site. This is this is what's supposed to be on on here. However, because of the credit card companies. And someone finding out of the millions of videos that are on Pornhub uh, uh, or Xtube, they find what was the when the article says 118 instances of what they claim to be. I don't know what the videos were, so I can really like make my own judgment of uh, like child abuse or sex abuse or something like that. And then the credit card companies step in to, to, to say, oh, no, you we're not going to be a payment processor for you at all because of, of this 118 out of millions of videos right. and out of a extreme harsh way. They go in and be like, OK, we really kind of need to, to, to watch this. So we're just going to if you're not verified, we're we're just sweeping you out. Unlike being like, okay, yeah, there was 118, somehow didn't get caught. I don't even know what systems these these sites have to possibly, you know, watch for these and get and and flag for these. I do know that like advertisements for malware and stuff, which is a completely different situation, but um, have been put into place to prevent any of that from any of the advertisements they show on the on the site, but they need also a similar system to actually look at the content and being able to flag for possible need for content verification. If they're going to try to just do it all manually, then we're up to a personal opinion of whoever's reviewing it. Although, you know, they'll probably have instruction on, maybe it's not necessarily their thing, thing but it's still good or it's still bad um, for what, what they have. But, getting through all of that manually is a near impossibility it would take a super super long time uh and it would cost uh, a lot of money to do that if they also if they have access to the software heck if they could get similar software that uh, uh that youtube uses for the, for their flagging of content and also making sure that the the mechanics are in each of their videos to flag the content so that so that users can flag content for then manual review to be like, yes, this this flag is totally valid. Take that, take that down, but keep the right. video up. But these videos are going to go up. They're it, just like videos onto YouTube. The videos that 
they don't want to have up there if they go go up but they get flagged for content review they will get taken down but they'll have been up for a certain amount of time these are responsibilities for these type of companies and it's just trying to get through those mechanics to properly do those is where they really need to kind of need to focus right now it's kind of be, seeming to me like oh this is a this is a panic situation we just need to do something now get it to a place where it's like nobody can can argue about anything no, um, do anything yeah and, and uh, take it down i'm hoping the possible theory of everything was just taken down just taken down but they're still there is the case so that they can start a pos process to review these to eventually being like okay this is good we can put this back up um yeah. but we the big thing here the thing that pe people are panicking about is we don't know yeah we have no right. idea and we're we're in the dark we have no idea what's happening as of right now all we can assume um is these videos and this content has all been deleted just mm -hmm. gone right because because the communication to the users to the public whatever you want to call it has been piss poor like yeah and in, in the handling of it i completely agree with you know what you were saying jeff about the processes protocols and unfortunately the panic mm -hmm. that came about because it's really how this was handled um yeah. So that really kind of brings me back around to like what I, which is the like kind of the title. Um, do Rip. we think this is the end? Like, you know that there that there really won't be any more of these sites in 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 time well, to come. You know, like kind of like Tumblr or well, Tumblr is different because Tumblr did have non-adult stuff on it. Um, yeah. <sighs> Looking at, like, I'll just be honest, like, one of the things I've been doing right now is I've kind of been looking around Xtube just kind of off and on at stuff because it's, I was curious because I was just kind of looking around. Um, West I Cub think is still just there. like, huh? West Cub is still there. Because oh, he's a verified well, but user. He's probably, but he was a verified, probably a verified a amateur performer because I know at, a, at one point in time that was one of the things he was um, um, doing because of, you know, he can't really do much of his, you know, regular job right now because of COVID. So, you know, um, but, you know, I've what I've seen is I have seen people that have been, you know, who are going through Xtube's verification process, as far as I can tell, is um, you have to send kind of a proof of identification and I think maybe a picture. And then you can get verified as an amateur and then you can upload content. Um, then you set your prices and what have you, and then you, you know, you can start uploading stuff the way it looks like anyway. Cause um, one of the people I used to follow um, is putting videos back up, like as of like yesterday. And um, they're now an amateur, whereas before they weren't. So, mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's a quick, you know, I don't want to say a quick turnaround, but it is something you know, you just have to go through the process essentially of verifying yourself. Now, the there are so many larger issues there about like I get photo identification and and all of that and things you know um, that I could foresee happening, um, especially for like the trans community and 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 mm. and you know things like that. There could potentially be a problematic problem, um, but for now. At least on Xtube, as far as I know, you can become essentially. You have to sign up for it, be an amateur, send in the information. I'm sure probably like take pictures in, on your phone and then send it to them, and then you'll be an amateur, and then you could probably upload content. Um, uh, Pornhub, I don't know yet. Um, Pornhub is the one I'm not sure about. Um, because I think they were the one probably that was the hardest hit. Um, not because they were they've been around longer. No, they haven't been around longer. But you know, like they were probably the one that had a lot of stuff on it. Um, but I could 
but what I've seen, as far as I know, with regards to verifying yourself, it becomes a never ending loop of not being able to verify yourself now. Um, if I'm remembering some of the articles, the articles that we read today, they're probably not going to get that really going until next year. So if I'm remembering correctly. So mm -hmm. that could be something that is possible down the line that you can verify yourself and then you can upload content um, there, but not until maybe the new year. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the holiday season. So we, yeah, we, we if, 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 and, that deal. If, if that's the case, then they're very, like, like Jeff mentioned in the entourage chat, the verification process, if you can get it working, it's fairly easy. If you just, like, you just send a picture of yourself holding the page, like, that's easy. Like, no problem. You can do it on your phone. I did it, like, in five minutes. Now, the problem becomes, like, if they reject it. But you can potentially do it again and again and again until you get verified. But right now, you can't really verify yourself until you have a picture of yourself, which you can't upload until you're verified. So that right. quandary. Also, you need pieces of paper. I mean, yeah. And a camera. And a writing utensil. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The burden is quite high, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, so uh, my my kind of musing, my wondering is like, you know, will will we see potentially the decline of these sites, these companies? Um, mm -hmm. Will something new come up in their place, you know, that will say because I remember like there was this whole outcry about Tumblr, uh, Facebook, you know, all these other things have happened over the past, like, say, five years that, you know, people get bent out of shape and they're like, Rah! I'm not going to uh -huh. use this platform anymore, you know, and then something comes along the line, you know, and then there's this new thing. And so people are going to, in herd or whatever, go use this other stuff. Uh -huh. I did some of it. None of them I use anymore. Like, because there <laughs> just wasn't the population movement uh -huh. Uh -huh. to go with it. And I can't even remember what some of these things were. Um, I think one was New Tumble. There was that. <laughs> Mastodon. Um, Mastodon was another one. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember what the replacement for Facebook was. It was very slick and uh, back in black and white. Um, I still get notifications once in a blue moon from them. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, like there are these other things. So, that, you know, because of the diversity of people and the possibility of what they're, you know, looking for or whatever, I, I just don't know quite what that will be and you know if 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 what what the news tells us if media is correct that younger generations have even less care and concern about like nudity and mm -hmm. like sexting mm -hmm. and those type of things will there really be a need for that anymore yeah in another 10 to 15 years, like for a repository for a place to go and look at things when culturally society has started to shift into a place of like, you want to see my stuff? I'll just send it to you. True. Do you know, I mean, just, you know, like, and, and this is really bad, but it's kind of like, it's a visual resume. It's like, do you, do you want to see like what you could have here? Let me, let me link you or send you, you know, these like three videos of me with other people or I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, things are possible. I just don't know what the, the outcomes will be um, in time. For me personally, this demise, this like catastrophe, like choose your descriptive of, you know, the shift like that's happened with these sites doesn't really impact me personally because I just wasn't going to them because I, like I said mm -hmm. earlier, I was already kind of off put on how they were handling stuff. Um, I did go on at least Xtube to kind of look to see what happened with my newsfeed. And now the like 75, 85% of it is scrolling past to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay for this, to rent mm -hmm. this, to rent this, to rent this, to rent this. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. really care like but yeah you know and it's i mean and again 
I think most, I, 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 and I'll just be honest, I think a lot of people are upset that they were, they've lost their free content. Like, let's just, let's just put it out there, apples to apple. Like, most people are upset that they have lost their free porn. Like, let's just, let's just call it like it is and call it what it is. Like, um, I mean, so, or most, of the, most of their free porn, because the, the, yes. despite uh, the, some of the free, free porn that are out there, that you can still go to Pornhub and Xtube and still get content. It's just yes. that, that it's now a lot more limited in all the ones that, that you had already favorited that you had had mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, set up for bookmarks or what have you the that that you like that were just not from verified or or amateur mm -hmm. uh, verified people it is now gone this is not to say that there is no free porn on any of these sites there still is yeah. It's right, just, but it's just not maybe the stuff that you wanted. Yeah, the, yeah. or the, that's kind of what I was going for. It's yeah, like, was, it's not as the, I said, it, right, it, liking or, or or following. I mean, as as someone pointed out in the chat, um, I think Din Din had made a comment about someone somewhere is enjoying these deleted videos, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> quote yeah. unquote deleted. Uh, and my thing was like, I knew for years. Like, I, actually, I was I, I was inappropriately abused. I will own this. When all this was happening. A handful of people I know were like, well, it's a good thing I have my six terabyte like hard drive over <laughs> here full of all the content I've downloaded and kept all these years. Like, so like some people, I guess, were smart, question mark, like to <laughs> make their Back own their copies yeah. or whatever of, of the content illegally for their own fapping later. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we've, I, I mean, mean there is kind of fair use uh, cases that you could probably throw in there too. You know. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, yes, if you, if Damon you, has all of his DVDs, so I do have a lot of DVDs, although they are, they are, they are literally upstairs, and I have not bothered with them in the past like four or five years because I, again, I'm one of those people that has like a bunch of stuff on a tear drive that I can pull up and use. Are whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> no shame in this game. Uh, but like, like, I think again, the, the uh, one of the things that hope people will, one of the things I can see happening, and is one of my maybe I don't want to call hopes, but it, I do kind of hope that people, if they want to see, you know for lack of a better phrase, good content um, may have to realize that they may have to start paying for it. Um, um, unfortunately or fortunately, like you you may have to start paying your sex workers to do the things that they're doing. You know, OnlyFans, Just for Fans, are things out there that people use to, you know, put okay. content out there. Okay. And, you're still and watching trailers. Are that. Well, because um, the, the reality is that the advertising sponsorship platform is diminishing in return. Yeah. Like, the mm -hmm. revenue from that has been dropping consistently. But that happens with any technology. Like, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter where it is. Like, like, like it has a peak and then it falls off. Like, mm -hmm. so the valuation, like, all of that becomes a factor. So I think what, you know, we've just taken for granted for far too many years is mm -hmm. I go and I go to the web because – the internet's for porn mm -hmm. and you the know you go to a porn. site and you ignore all the advertising you ignore the yeah. horizontal like flashing annoying mm -hmm. like bar thing on the top you ignore the stuff on the right or on the left you mm -hmm. click the x to immediately make the pop-up ad go away like whatever yeah. Yeah. it is because you're like god damn it i want my eight minutes so i could just have some fucking stress relief do you mm -hmm. know what i mean um yeah. I'm not gonna watch this whole video. I just want this this like thirty <laughs> second part that's in the middle of the video. I just I'm gonna fast uh -huh. forward, or it's like oh I want to see this. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead like thirty seconds. Are you are gonna watch the whole video? Cause, and get the pleasure from it, and then maybe click on another one. But like Gary was saying, like you you're not caring about all the flashing lights and bells and whistles about that's going on around you. That's all the advertising for the other site. Who? 
who's Tito's? I don't even know. Like, <laughs> has anyone, like anyone here, well, no, can you honestly say that's a whole that other show? <laughs> I think. But I'm with you, David. Like, I don't recall ever mm -hmm. intentionally mm -hmm. clicking on an ad to look at the content of the other site. Mm -hmm. And I say it like that because there have been some times I have accidentally clicked on an yeah. ad yeah. and then yeah. been like, what in the, uh, I don't want to see this, you know, like, <laughs> closer. No, I don't want to do that. No, yeah. I did. I had to wait like two more seconds before I could skip the ad. Yeah, you have to wait for them to skip the ad. You know, those, and, and, no, um, and again, at the end of the day, that's kind of what it is, you know, it's, this is pretty much all about money. Like, let's just, let's just kind of put it out there. Like, this is essentially all about money, advertising, whatever. I do feel that porn will never go away. Um, maybe another site will pop up, but good Lord, we have a lot of sites already. I mean, I could probably, in my head, just, like, start, like, naming ones, and you've probably some that you've never heard of that are just, like, out there, and I'm just like, okay, yeah. You know, if you really, really, really want to get porn, you might be able to find it for free somewhere. Well, like, the, you're not wrong, David, because this goes back to the, to the dawn of, like, civilization. Yeah. Like, woe be you to get between a man and his nut. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Like, and I can't speak for for uh, other individuals. I'm just going to broad categorize like men as a, as a whole collective grouping inappropriately. I know that. But like, that's kind of what it comes down to. Like, technology has given us like so much more accessibility that we didn't have previously. But I'm sorry. Like, it's going to happen. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like, dudes gonna be dudes dudes are gonna get off and they're like you know gonna figure out their their way to do that like that's what i mm -hmm. haven't seen total like left turn to albuquerque people hang on for this that's what i haven't seen about apocalyptic sci-fi fantasy in the future where is that content about people <laughs> being like pervs in like the apocalyptic future and i don't mean about like like necessarily hooking up and fucking because i'm sure some of that's out there but like what will be the the his what will be like the future of that kind of stuff you know like <laughs> that seems to be missing from all the games that people stream <laughs> on twitch and you know stories and movies and things like that like the stand right now i haven't started watching it yet but i'm pretty sure that Whoopi goldberg is not associated with like a mini series or anything in which there are people going into adult bookstores to try to like you know break in and look for you know old content <laughs> that they can maybe somehow be able to watch. I don't know. Anyways, weird random aside for sure. But yeah, it it. Mm, 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 mm. I don't really know what to say to that, but I think it's out there. I think you know. Again, like if you're gonna you're gonna find it. You know, mm. Tumblr is a perfect example of going back to somewhat the norm. I won't say it's gone like fully back to it, but they're. If you're on Tumblr, um, you can you can very easily get the porn you want. Like now, you know you can get the 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 pictures, the naughty bits, what have you. You can find it. Like it's it's not that hard. Um, it has definitely they they have either relaxed within the past couple of years, or they've given up <laughs> on people uploading the content. Whatever they've done. Um, it's when there's big, Whatever it's one happened. big sweep and then then they just stopped. So Yeah. Like I mean, don't get me wrong, there are still things that are, you know, you'll see that are were flagged and they're still flagged, you know, in violation of the of whatever they were doing at the time. Um but beyond that, um you can still see dick if you wanted to, or or nudity or whatever, the naughty stuff. You can see it re pretty readily um nowadays the problem is most of the time most of the, the people that were probably putting out the original content are gone so um it's mostly either reblogs of their things that are still kind of out there and non and not you know flagged or it's someone that has taken their stuff downloaded it 
and has re-uploaded it as their own, which is unfortunate. But again, it's out there, right? So, yeah. I guess one way to phrase it is, if there's a hard on, it will find a way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like that. Wow, that's a lot of discussion. Uh, I do have to admit that uh, I have navigated to Xtube well, during the show and uh, apparently popped up a, uh, I suppose it's kind of a TOS uh, notification, which I posted mm -hmm. in our, our document. If you scroll down to the very bottom, it copy pasted it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it really did anything. So I uh, was mm -hmm. like, hey, you can now upload stuff. Although when I went to change profile images, it just said up, the user uploads are currently only available to amateur content partners. Yep. You can't, yeah, you can't, you so, can't change your picture. So it's, it's kind of giving you mixed messages. <laughs> um, you own your content, but you can't put up content. Right. And this, this whole one paragraph here, like this should have been in there uh, ahead of time. I don't see this as like all that big a deal. The website does not endorse any content submitted by it by any user, uh, licensor, or opinion recommendation or advice expressed herein. And the website expressly disclaims any and all liability in, con in connection with the content. The website reserves the right to remove content without prior notice. Um, website does not permit copyright infringing. Blah 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 blah. Like I mean, none of this is ex is exciting. You know, like brand new. What? Like I'm like mm, okay, yeah, got it. Like. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, in some sense, uh, you know, it, it's their website, so technically they can do whatever they want with it. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, keeping user satisfaction. But mm -hmm. oh, interesting! What you were talking about earlier, Jeff, is towards the very bottom. However, we do not undertake to review content before it is posted on the website, and cannot ensure prompt removal or objectionable content after it has been posted. Accordingly, we assume no liability for any action or inaction regarding transmissions, communications, or content provided by any user or third party. We have no liability or responsibility to anyone for the performance or non-performance of the activities described in this yeah. section. We are providing a service for you to post stuff, but we do not have any liability for what you post. Kind of... Right. Say harbor or something like that. Yeah, I mean, this this stuff at the end, I think, might have already been there before this whole thing happened, but it, it's going back to your earlier point, which is it's nearly impossible to be able to filter and review and moderate and, you know, all, mm -hmm. everything that right. comes and through. It, yeah, and I think the big thing that the uh, extreme people really need to be, be wary of and try to reduce their extrem extremosity that's not even a word, but I just made it up, um, is that the sites should have a user-submitted flagging system uh, mm. in addition to their own content review to be able to be like, if in addition to automated systems that they may be able to have to check for certain things, that if a user flags it, then somebody can review it to be like, yes, that flag is valid and we can take it and this be taken down. Um, maybe even or some sort of rating system, like if so many people flag it. That way the extreme people can just go in, see the video, flag it, and then the site be obligated to follow their things. But um, they're right. Uh, they're just providing the service for people to post this type of content and they mm -hmm. really don't have any liability for the content that people posted the liabilities on the for the poster that's really i, I think that's i i am no legal professional in copyright mm -hmm. laws and and uh these type of things uh, but if i understand the safe harbor initiative or whatever it was called that's the point is we provide a platform for you to use and whatever you use it for is your content and not ours. So, but yeah. they, they just have a responsibility for 
taking action on any reports and flags and that sort of thing on it. And that system has to be in, pl in place to do it. And especially when you're looking at things like if this whole hubbub is, was about 118, uh, it, like proportionality, <laughs> there are millions of videos well, you find 118 <laughs> out of these millions of videos. Still, it's really small. It's you know, it's still an issue. If, it, if it's guess, more I mean, significant, if millions of videos and like you found a million, but that would be a violation. Sure. That's going to be a big problem. Well, but, but the reality is in terms of the copyright piece, like copyright, that's, that's all over the place that, that right. I, I think, but, no, but I think that's really where the, the, like, if you want to slice it, the reality of nearly 15 million videos on Pornhub being authentic and original that's laughable yeah like, yeah so ridiculous so like and, th and that's a whole other thing that like i was reading recently before this about like content that is created by somebody like the the my understanding is it is no longer required that you have to apply for copyright law has started jurisdiction has started at least in the united states moving into if you can prove the creation of it like with a date timestamp, it's considered a copyright. Yeah. And that's just as far as it goes. And I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, then people taking someone else's content and posting it are in copyright violation. And that's why I was saying earlier, like what would be needed, which is, as you were saying, Jeff, impossible, is to have everything vetted before it's public yeah. to review well, it, to look to at it. To be perfect. Yeah. Right. Which uh, they're, and understandably, they're like, we're not doing that. Yeah, those people who are who are providing that. Yeah, yeah but it, and the big thing here is that the onus in regards to the copyright violation isn't isn't on the platform; it's on the user that's doing the posting. Yeah, which is uh, kind of how all the platforms work. Yeah, that yeah. but. Yeah, I mean, I mean we're not it, talking about they're... talking about in the, in the reason. No, no, why no I know, this, but... but like I think that's how all of them are operating. Though it's like, oh no, no, yeah. no, we have no liability to this. Yeah, that's what, and that's what they were saying in that that paragraph. You're really you're did. an end user. the The liability lies with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if, yeah, but if users flag it, it's kind of it's kind of like, oh, I made this food. I'm not liable if you're allergic to it and you die. That's on you. I mean, yeah. Like the logic is that. I'm not. I'm not going to say it's right or wrong. Like there are many different views to it. But mm. uh, in wrapping up, I think we're like the takeaways are: we don't know what the future of these two sites will be. It's questionable on what the verification process will be, since there seem to be these weird circular logic kind of things that are broken at the moment. And uh, if you have a boner, you're going to find a way to have a nut. So there you go. Yeah, I yeah. mean, true. And and, it's true. and, uh, and what I is, mean. <laughs> When, when the things like yeah, I, I would say on this is also partially a, a wait and see what what happens this could be because this just happened um, things may change as as time progresses all of a sudden uh, people's content starts re-emerging like maybe as you were saying that they were taken down but they're still like on their servers just hidden from everybody but by people as they start uh -huh. reviewing things and, and putting things back. So that's, that's kind of the hope, hopeful look on everything. We don't know. So keep watch. You never know. And it, there is still plenty of content on these sites. Just not as much. That's all. Anyways, yeah. I think that was a long discussion, including plenty, plenty of tangents and probably me a lot of meandering, but Hey, that's well, out loud for you. Speaking of Cubs Out Loud. There's plenty of ways to contact us. Did you know that? <laughs> you pop over to our website, CubsOutLoud.com. Uh, come into the blog. Shoot us an email, CubsOutLoud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail, sexy or otherwise, at 361-265-8255. It's 361-COL-TALK if you want to some <laughs> mnemonics to it. Um, there's plenty. Of, you can find us on various social media outlets such as uh, Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> yes, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. I'm just going to ignore those people um, <laughs> above me. Uh, you can join our entourage chat. We're, we're, as I said, the chat blew up about 
uh, at tinyworld.com slash telegram dash col. Subscribe to our Google Calendar where you can find out where we're planning to do some of these uh, episodes live by going to um, uh, tinyworld.com slash calendar dash col. I know the times usually say a certain time, but we usually start after it because we're running on gay time. Actually, we're running on Gary time, which is a little late, late for, for gay time because you have to factor in gay time and then Gary time, which kind of compounds everything. We've had a complete discussion about this. It, actually, Gary admitted at time. Anyways, just to let you know, you know but you might want to watch before just in case. You never know. Anyways, uh, you can get plenty of merchandise, such as a Comes Out Loud version 1 shirt, a Comes Out Loud version 3 uh, sweatshirt, or, or any other shirt that, like Gary's wearing, or a hat like Gary's wearing. Gary's just all decked out on Comes Out Loud merchandise. You could be too. You could get some of that at Zazzle uh, slash Comes Out Loud. I'm not saying the top level domain because I went through been through all that before, whatever your local one is. Mm -hmm. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash comes out loud. Um, you can uh, also just uh, send us money. Maybe give me a green screen so I can get a pretty background instead of this weird share stuff and, and be more like Damon and, and Gary are right now uh, by going to paypal.me slash comes out loud. You can subscribe to us and uh, rate us over on Apple Podcasts, uh, over on Google Play, Spotify, Amazon and Audible. We're all over the place. Probably all your favorite podcatchers. Uh, you'll find us. You can find me anywhere in the internet. It's box at box, puppy box, cut box, something or other, and wind gem on Twitch where you can find B and D and a lot of wow. Also, COL Gaming is a, another uh, show, quote unquote, um, which you can also see a playlist for here on the YouTube channel. Game. Wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as TheaterCup79 on most spear related sites and on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbrella on Twitter. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GearBear73. And with that, uh, say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Ciao for now.